it's Liv and welcome back to my channel for week three of the Owls Readathon. Today is day 17, Friday, April 17th, and we've got quite a bit of work ahead for us. This is my exam for Charms, which is to read a book with a white cover. This is a reread for me. I read this first book back my senior year of high school, but I never got a chance to finish the series, so this is a perfect opportunity to kind of refresh, revamp, and get ready for what's coming next. So because that is a reread, I would like to have it done by maybe tomorrow at the latest and then after that we are headed straight for Mistborn. This is kind of my priority for the week is to make at least a dent in it. I would love to get at least halfway through this week if not completely finishing this book. This is kind of a beast and I think it's really kind of dense is the word I would use. I have read the first 100 pages before so I'm hoping I can quickly get through those first 100 pages but I remember it being kind of like if I didn't pay like super super close attention to what was going on then I really kind of found myself getting lost and so I'm really hoping that's not the case because I really want to love this book. So many so many people absolutely love this series, love Brandon Sanderson as an author and I have listened to about half of the Skyward audiobook so I love the way he writes but I'm really hoping that the hype on this series won't let me down because I have such high hopes for this, let's be real. So yes, my plan for today is to read as much of The Raven Boys as I can, hopefully get that out of the way, and then I can work on Herbology. Hi guys, happy Sunday, and today is actually Orthodox Easter, so happy Easter and Christos and Esti to my fellow Greeks. Um, usually we would go to my church today, have like a big celebration after the service, but due to quarantine rules and keeping numbers of parties really low in terms of social distancing, we are actually having a huge Zoom conference instead with my entire family, which I'm really looking forward to because I have not seen them in quite a while and this is probably like the day that all Greeks look forward to. So I'm really excited for that later just to get to kind of talk to everyone, catch up, see everyone even if it is just through a screen. Aside from that, my goal today is to finish The Raven Boys. I want to say I do have like 150 pages left so the story is starting to move fairly quickly and then after this is done I can move on to Mistborn which I'm so excited to finally start. So all in all I think it's gonna be a great day. Hello my loves, happy Monday. So last night I did finish The Raven Boys and I have officially completed my charms exam. Honestly, I forgot how much I did like this book when I was in high school and I first read it. I forgot a lot. There is a very big twist concerning one of the characters that does happen in this book and for some reason I remember it being towards the end but it actually happens more in the middle which threw me off because I was not expecting it at that time. But all in all I forgot how much I love these characters and I love getting to see them grow. I feel like there's so much in store for them and I'm so excited to see what it is and get to read more about them in the rest of the series. I'm hoping to pick up the Dream Thieves sometime during this next month once readathon is over and I'm back to kind of just going with the flow, seeing what I am in the mood to read at that point in time. So Dream Thieves is getting very high up on my list at the moment. So I am hoping to start this later today. I do need to also film the video that's going up today, which is my stay at home book tag, which I've seen kind of circulating around at the moment. No one in particular tagged me to do it, but it looked like a lot of fun. So I wanted to get mine up there anyways. But I do need to film that and then I know we're running into town to grab a couple of things so got a lot going on today but my hope is to get a good start in with this and hopefully continue strong. Hi guys! Happy Wednesday! Pardon my scrub-like appearance we have going on here. It's kind of a lazy day so I'm just taking full advantage of that. I am almost to the 100 page mark for Mistborn so I am about to enter some unknown territory since that is as far as I have ever gotten in this book. So I'm really excited to do so. I do think it was a great idea for me to kind of take a step back and reread what I had read previously because there were some parts that I definitely didn't really understand, but now I'm kind of getting a better grasp on them since reading it a second time. The magic system in this world really still intrigues me. It's kind of like they ingest certain types of metals and then each metal has a different magical property that they use as they like burn up the metals, which I think is super interesting and only like select people can do that. 
which is really cool. It's not something I feel like I would ever want to try, but I'm here for it. So my plan today is not necessarily to do like a readathon, but to kind of just see how much reading I can get done and kind of just devote my day to reading. So I'm really excited. Hi guys, happy Friday. And we're nearing the end of week three. Technically it is the beginning of week four. And this vlog actually should have gone up on yesterday, Thursday. However, since the weeks of the month kind of like they don't all line up just right and I don't have much footage from this week just because things have gotten completely crazy but I am extending this vlog until Sunday and then it will go up on Monday so it is kind of like a 10 day vlog and then next week's vlog will encompass the final week of the readathon but I also do have some news. So this isn't the first time that I've done this through this readathon by any means but I am actually kind of revamping my TBR for the rest of the month. So I'm liking Mistborn. It's good. However, for me, I feel like it's moving really slow and that's kind of the opposite of what you want in a readathon. You want something that's going to keep you engaged, feels like it's moving fairly quickly so you can get through each book before the end of the month, get them done in a reasonable amount of time. And honestly, with Mistborn, I don't see that happening if I want to also fit in at the seminars that I'm trying to do. So I have a... I've revamped a couple things. So I did manage to find a book on my shelves that does match the Herbology prompt that does actually start with the letter M and not just the weird edition of Mistborn that I do have since it's really called The Final Empire. But for Herbology I am actually going to be picking up The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane by Kate DiCamillo. This was like my favorite book as a child and I have not read it in so long. I used to have it in like a big like hardback edition that was kind of like a picture book but now I found this paperback one recently um I say recently I mean a couple years ago but I have not read this book since I was like six seven years old and I had read it like over and over as a kid if I ever had like a couple minutes to just sit and read I would pick up this book and just read it because it made my heart so happy and it was so cute so I'm really hoping that I enjoy it just as much as I did when I was a child so I'm really excited to kind of take a trip down memory lane with this one and this this I can definitely finish before the end of the readathon in the next week. So for arithmetic for the magical shop management I do need to read a book outside of my favorite genre and since fantasy is my favorite genre I am switching from An Abundance of Catherines by John Green to A Study in Charlotte which is a YA contemporary mystery and this one follows the descendants of Sherlock Holmes and Watson who I love Sherlock that's one of my favorite BBC shows and getting to see their descendants which as you know is like that's that's my little niche area that I love is just like next generation anything so I'm really surprised I haven't read this yet I've owned it for like a year now I'm really excited to finally get to read this and I feel like I could fly through this pretty quickly so that is definitely on my list here and finally the book that I've been waiting to get to all month since I finished Six of Crows is Crooked Kingdom which is the sequel in the last book in the duology as of right now. I know Leigh Bardugo has said that she does have an idea for something she would do if she wanted to make this into a trilogy but she doesn't know yet if that is happening and it will be a couple of years but I need to know what happens after the cliffhanger ending of Six of Crows and this one is is it's big it's kind of chunky so I think if I'm afraid that I might not be able to get to anything for time's sake this would probably be the one and this is for my legal defense of fantastic beast seminar but you know we'll try hello happy Saturday day 25 of the owls readathon so Today actually would have been the day of the Y'all West Book Festival in Santa Monica, which I was finally going to get to go to after so many years, but unfortunately it was cancelled due to COVID-19 concerns. So they have put the entire convention online this year, which is actually really helpful and I'm really glad they still decided to do something with it instead of just like outright canceling it. So there has been panels going on all day. Unfortunately I haven't been able to make any of them since today was also supposed to be a bridal shower for my cousin's fiance. So instead we just kind of had a zoom call. All the bridesmaids just kind of chat about wedding stuff and that was actually a lot of fun. So I'm really glad I got to sit and talk to some of these really lovely ladies. So I do actually have Brandon Sanderson's keynote panel that I am registered for to watch at 7 p.m. my time tonight which I'm so excited to finally 
get to kind of see him talk and see what he has to say. I know it's going to be amazing. So as far as reading goes, my plans for today are to finish The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane. I feel like I remember a lot less of this book than I had originally anticipated. Edward himself has much more of an attitude and like he's so proper and I didn't really remember that. Like sometimes he says that people were talking to him and he's like, but I didn't really care what they were saying. I just care that they had me on the wrong side and I'm like, okay, Edward, chill. But I would love to finish this today and then either get to the Lightning Thief graphic novel for my potions exam and then that would completely finish my magizoologist career or work on a study in Charlotte which is for my arithmetic exam which is for the magical shop management seminar. So one of these will be getting read tonight after I finish The Miraculous Journey. So I think tonight's gonna be it's gonna be a cozy reading night. Honestly those are the best kind of nights. The weather's kind of iffy right about now. It seems like it's bright out but it's very cloudy and I think it might rain later which perfect ambiance but if I don't have these sounds of rain I can definitely find an ASMR room to tide me over with that but it's gonna be a good night. Um and the older I've gotten the more I've learned the more I've realized the wisdom in what my mother said because I came out of you know, that falling in love with fantasy novels with two big desires, right? Someone who's been successful. Makes sense, right? Successful person, um, knows what they're doing, has been there before you, should have good advice. Use the force. Good bird. Good bird. You're being really good. Uh, May 5th, so we book birthday buddies. Uh, it is the sequel to Aurora Rising and it is about a gang of uh, misfits and losers who we really hope might save the universe, but they're not, I mean, who knows, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, and you know that going in, yeah. but that moment where, you know, their farts still smell like roses, it's just, it's heaven, I love that part. And then I love the after the book is done. Hi guys, welcome to Sunday, day 26 of the Owls Readathon. I can't believe things are almost over. I've had so much fun. This will be the last day of this vlog and then next week's vlog will encompass the final week of the readathon. So we did just watch the suckage as a part of writing panel, part of the Y'all Stay Home adaptation of the Y'all West Book Festival featuring Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff as well as a bunch of other fantastic authors and that was a lot of fun. I do have like an hour before the world building beyond Wikipedia panel so I am actually going to meet up with my best friend to social distancely enjoy some ice cream and I'm so excited I have not seen her in so long but I do want to talk briefly I did finish the miraculous journey of Edward Tulane last night for my herbology exam and I forgot how much I love this book I really haven't read it since I was probably like 10 years old and I actually cried last night I forgot how touching this story is how heartbreaking it is at times like for a children's book it gets really deep and it just it's so cool to see the way that he ended up from one place to another over the course of so many years and so this was definitely something that I was way overdue for a reread for and I could not be happier that I finally picked it up. But today I would like to finish out the Magizoology career exam prompts strong and read my potions exam which is the Lightning Thief graphic novel by Rick Ray Orden. And then after I'm done with this bad boy I am going to pick up A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallero for my arithmetic exam. Happy end of week three. So it is time to kind of sit down and chat about the things that I've read this week. So first off, I want to talk about The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater, which was my charms exam for a book with a white cover. And again, this was a reread for me, but it was so nice to just kind of dive back into 
this world that I've known for so long but really haven't gotten to explore in so many years. I got to re-fall in love with the characters, rediscover the twists and turns that they take along the way, and I couldn't be happier that I picked this one for my exam and finally read it because now I can finally move on to the Dream Thieves and have a fully functioning knowledge of what happened in the first book after taking like five years of hiatus, which is a little wild, but it's done and I am so happy. Next up, we have The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane by Kate Ticamillo, which was my herbology exam for the Mimbulus Mimbletonia. Pick a book that starts with the letter M. And this was such a fun trip down memory lane. Honestly, I think all three of these that I have completed this week are rereads. But this was such a sweet little kind of, I got to reminisce on my childhood a lot since this was my favorite childhood book. I do need to kind of search through like my mom's office and see if I can find the original like hardback picture book edition that I did have as a child. And then I can kind of see how like the text and the pictures all kind of come together for the story because as you can see here, it's mostly text, but there are pictures for the titles and then there are bigger pictures in the book itself. Just kind of taking up a page, but it's not that kind of like mixed together that you love in a children's book. But I'm so happy I finally got to reread this one as well for the first time in so, so many years. Definitely brought up some really great memories and broke my heart all over again. This was so nice. And last but certainly not least, we have the Lightning Thief graphic novel, which was for my potions exam to read a book under 150 pages, meaning I have officially completed the requirements for the owls for the Magizoology career. And along with completing the requirements for the Magizoology career, I have also in turn completed the requirements for the Mer People Linguistics Seminar, which I believe was Care of Magical Creatures and Herpology. I believe those were the two. So my plan for this next upcoming week is to try my hardest to finish the last two prompts for Legal Defense of Fantastic Beasts and Magical Shop Management because your girl is really trying to become a magical creature lawyer, which can you imagine how awesome that would be to do that as a career? Would kick Lucius Malfoy right off his throne and save Buckbeak. That would be my first order of business. But I am going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy it. Please sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because I do upload every Monday and every Thursday and you don't want to miss what's coming next. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.